What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to my first video of me reviewing my Erasmus semester at the University of Cologne. This is going to be the first instalment uh, of a series whereby I look at each individual month I was there, I explain to you all the highlights, everything that went on and then round each video off with some tips and some advice so that hopefully if you're undertaking a year abroad or a semester abroad yourself, you can hopefully learn something by the end of it. This video itself is going to look specifically at October and I'm going to split it into two parts. The first part is going to just review everything that went on, like all the events that happened, all the highlights of this particular month uh, where I was starting off my Erasmus. And then as I said, I'll round it off with some advice and some tips. So hopefully you learn something from this. So to start off the month, I was staying with a family. I wasn't staying in my own flat. Unfortunately with Cologne, there is a huge housing crisis, like finding anywhere to live, especially if you're a student that's coming from abroad, it is insanely tough. Like it's probably one of the worst cities in Europe I can imagine in terms of the housing crisis. It was really, really difficult finding somewhere to live, not just for me, but for a whole wealth of students, especially when they were coming from America or Asia the whole thing was a nightmare and I think it does put people off coming to Cologne which is a real shame because the city itself is amazing especially for an Erasmus semester but finding accommodation is a serious issue and I really hope that the uni does something about it in the future to encourage more people to come here rather than putting them off. Fortunately for me I then found somewhere from the 1st of November onwards which is the flat that I'm in right now um, but luckily as I got here I was with a family, they, they let me stay there until I found a flat. Um, I just paid them one month's rent and it was perfect, so I, I got quite lucky. But I know for lots of other people it was a completely different story. So after settling in at my new family's house and then finding a new flat for me in November, I then started university life. There was two weeks right at the beginning of October dedicated to freshers, this was right before the semester started. And during freshers, there were so many really good events organised for us by ESN, PIMS and SEMS, and the faculties from the university themselves. There was a wealth of stuff being put on for us, such as bar crawls, kiosk crawls, uh, club nights, daytime trips. The list was endless. It was, it was really well done. Probably better than my own freshers, which I did back at Warwick. I seem to enjoy this one a lot more, especially because the city is really social and is really lively. So yeah, freshers was really, really good fun. I met so many people, uh, people from all across the globe and everyone was there just to have fun, everyone was there to just, you know, meet everyone else, get to know each other, um, spend some time with each other and make your first group of friends. That was what Erasmus is all about um, and the freshers certainly allowed us to do that. So after partying hard and forming my initial friendships with a lot of people, there was unfortunately quite a boring side to October which was all the administration uh, that had to be done in order to just live and study here. It's so annoying, it takes so much time. The system is somewhat outdated, especially when I compare it back to England in terms of everything has to be done in person, to a specific time, to a specific day. Not much stuff can really be done online, which is really, really annoying, especially when you're just used to signing up to things on the internet. But alas, I did manage to complete it all, but my God, it took some time. Examples of things I had to do when I first arrived here was set up a bank, sort out my phone, register for my courses and my exams, um, obviously sort out a flat etc, sort out health insurance, the list is literally endless um, and it feels like a mountain you have to climb just to be able to live and study here. But you know at the end of the day after the first month most of it or all of it gets done um, and it's all behind you. So this leads me on to my tips and advice for any of you who are thinking of starting a semester abroad or year abroad yourself and what you can expect in your first kind of month that you arrive there. Um, my first big tip has definitely got to be print out all of your forms, all of your documents before you go. You're unlikely going to have a printer to hand when you first get here and printing in the city can be really expensive, like they charge quite a lot just to print off a few pieces of paper. So if you've got it all to hand as soon as you get here, it's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of money as well. I know it did for me and it definitely will for you. So print everything out. Secondly is attend as many events as possible, especially during freshers. 
These are the best opportunities for you to meet people and form your first initial friendships with everyone. And every single event you choose not to go to is a missed opportunity for meeting these people. Yeah, there's gonna be people you do like and yeah, there's gonna be people you don't like. But if you go to everything, you get that choice of, okay, who do I wanna hang out with during my semester here and who would I rather not? If you're really picky and you only go to an event here or there, then your semester abroad really isn't gonna be as fun and it's gonna take a lot longer for you to meet people than if you just choose to go to all of them. So definitely go to as many events as possible. And thirdly, if like me, the city you're going to or the town you're going to has sort of a housing problem and you find it really difficult to find somewhere to live, especially when you first arrive, then don't rule out living with a family. Like I didn't know the family that I lived with before I came here. They were just a contact through a contact um, and they were very welcoming. They were very happy for me to stay with them whilst I looked for a flat. And it saved me a lot of time, a lot of stress and a lot of money. Like it really was the best alternative to, to obviously finding a flat when I first got here. And it just made my initial experience so much easier than people that were running around like headless chickens with nowhere to live and no flats available for them. I have no regrets in doing it and it was also a great opportunity for me to speak German with them so it was a win-win. And yeah that concludes my advice and tips for you guys for your first month away on your year or semester abroad. I hope you enjoyed this video and got a good insight into what my first month was like um, and everything I had to do and then obviously I hope you found it useful and learned something if you're choosing to undertake something similar yourself. So I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to discuss everything that went on during November. Um, this was a really, really good month. Uh, I had a lot more socials, a lot more fun. The administration was behind me. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys look forward to it. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, share this with your friends if you know that they're doing something similar to what I've just done. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.